guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting and different video plan for you guys. I've seen this video going around a lot lately, so I thought I would film it. We have a special guest for today's video. We have little mommies. Most of you guys already know her because I show her in a lot of my videos and a lot of my vlogs, but if you guys do not know her, this is mommy. She is a French bulldog and she's very jumpy today. She does not want to stay still, but this is her. Say hi. Today we're gonna to be having mommies pick all of my makeup. It sounds super, this video could go either really good or really bad really fast. Mommies is not like disciplined whatsoever. She does not care what you tell her. She will not listen. She will do whatever she wants and she will get what she wants at all costs. So today we're gonna to have her pick my makeup and I'm really excited to see how this goes. I already have my brows done. I was gonna um, have her pick my brow products as well, but uh, I don't wanna sit here for like, I don't wanna make the video super, super long and I do wanna make it interesting, but I knew I was gonna take forever on my brows if I had her pick my brow products. So to start off this challenge, we're gonna have mommies pick out my eyeshadow primers and my eyeshadow as well for the eye look. I always do my eye makeup before my face makeup. That's just the order that I like to do it in. For my eyeshadow primers, I chose out four different primers. So all of these primers, I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of like them, but I don't have that many eyeshadow primers, so I just chose four different ones that um, I have. Um, so usually the one that I love to use as an eyeshadow primer is I love to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my eyeshadow primer. It's just so bomb as a primer and like it's such a good base. Then I also have the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer in the shade Eden. And then an oldie but a goodie, the original um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And then I also have here the Benefit Air Patrol. This one's probably like my least favorite primer that I have right here, but I thought I would throw it in. And then for eyeshadow palettes, we have, um, I chose two that I don't really like love. They're okay palettes, but I don't love them. Um, the first two that I chose out was the, the first one I chose out was the Anastasia Prism palette. This one was a really, really good palette, so I thought I would put this one in there. And then, um, uh, one of my favorites is the Morphe 3502 palette. This one's really, really bomb palette, so I had to throw that one in as well. And then these two are okay-ish palettes. They just weren't my favorites. Um, the Anastasia Soft Glam, it was, it is a good palette. I just never really reached for it again, um... Like, I really do, like, I did like it, and I think I was obsessed with it for a little bit, but the shimmers in it, just, I feel like they're a different formula, and, like, I don't know, they just weren't my favorite, and then, um, I have right here the Tartius Pro Palette, this is a pretty old palette, um, I never really used it a lot, as you guys can see, but I've had it for so long, it just wasn't really one of my favorites, but I think at one point it was my favorite, but it was, like, the also, it also was, like, the only eyeshadow palette that I had, so... Let's head over there with mommies, and we're going to have her pick my eyeshadow primers and my eyeshadow palette. Let's see how she does. I have some little doggy treats right here. Hopefully, mommies doesn't see them because she's going to, oh, she saw them, and she's going to go crazy. So, hopefully, she stays put. I'm going to put the eyeshadow primers down really quickly. I knew this was gonna be an issue. She's not gonna let me put them down. She's not gonna move from where she wants to be. As soon as she sees the trees, she's gonna be. Yeah, I know. Well, she already trees. saw them. Is that They're right here. Them? Yeah, that's how everyone else is doing it. Okay, put her down. Are you ready, mommy? You ready, girl? You ready? You go, kid. Go, kid. Oh, <laughs> mommy. Mommies. Where's she going? Come on. Oh, oh, and I think we have a winner. Oh, don't eat all the treats yet. <laughs> We got our eyeshadow palettes all laid down for her. I'm gonna put down some treats. Hopefully she does not see this. Okay. Mommy, come here. Come on, choose one. Choose one. And there she goes. She has good taste. She chose one of my favorites. And she's eating the rest of the treats. So she kind of chose all of them. <laughs> Mommy's chose her eyeshadow primer and she wants me to use the Benefit Air Patrol primer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to prime my lids, of course. And she got good taste. She chose my Morphe 3502 palette, which is one of my favorite palettes of all time. So we're gonna go ahead and just go in. Of course, Mommy. 
I haven't used this primer in literally so long, you guys. I have a big mirror right here, right in front of me. And then I also have like a little mirror I'm going to use as well. Why isn't it coming out? Oh, there it goes. Oh, the only thing I don't want to, like, I, I don't want to use this primer because it's like so yellowish. Which is not a bad thing, but, um... I, the way that I like cut my eyebrows with concealer, I used a very, very, very light concealer. Oh uh, no, and then also, this isn't gonna, like, this is a good face, but it's not gonna make my shadows, like, pop or anything, which kind of sucks. Kind of defeats the whole purpose, but it's all good. Mommy's just doing me dirty already. I'm just gonna go in with my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do one of my eyes and then I'll do the other eye. I kind of had a look in mind that I wanted to do, but I don't know if it's gonna work because I don't have um, one of the shadows that I wanted to use. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this red shadow. This isn't like like much of like a tutorial, but I will kind of tell you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. She's literally on the rug right now looking for more treats. Oh, oh, it's kind of creasing a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that red shadow. Just pop it onto the outer corner. I'm using a transition shade, like a lighter, like orangey shade to kind of blend it all out before I cut my crease. Because I do want to kind of cut my crease for this look. I feel like I blended the colors up a little bit too high, but it's all good. I'm going to work with it. Just like that. I think it looks fine. It'll look fine once I have the whole look done. It's a little, like I said, it's a blend up a little bit too high for what I would usually do, but it's all good. And also, I kind of moved the camera a little bit because I didn't like the way I was sitting, so I positioned it differently. Mommy's just literally sitting on the rug looking for more treats, you guys. That's freaking... She's crazy. She's a little fat, so... And this eye is done. I'm going to move on to the next eye. Um, for my lid shade, I just used some translucent powder. Oh my god, mommy's just get the hell out of me. She's going crazy. Um, I just used some translucent powder because the Morphe 3402, it doesn't have like a nice like, um, like cream colored shade. Mommy's is going crazy, you guys. Let me try to record a little bit for you guys because I want to add some of this footage in. Mommy. Mommy. Here she comes. Oh, hi, honey. I'm on my vlog camera. She's not really acting too crazy no more, though. As soon as I turn on the camera, she uh, got to fake it for the camera. She got to fake it for the camera. Okay, I'm going to do the next eye. Same exact thing. Um, like I said, I know, I feel like I, I blended it up a little bit too high, but I like the way that it looks, so... I'm going to keep it like this. Eyeshadow primer actually was not bad. I haven't used it in forever, so I'm actually liking it.
So I have six different primers spread out right here. She's going crazy. Stop, it's okay. Come on. No, 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 no. Sit. Sit. I literally have to hold mommy's down. I have six different primers right here though, all laid out for her. They all have treats and we're gonna let her go and see what she chooses. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, don't eat all the treats. So she went ahead and chose the Urban Decay Rebound pri like priming spray. We're gonna go ahead and use this. I do like this, although I like to usually mix it in with other primers that I like. I don't really love it on its own. Um, I like it for different purposes, but I guess we're gonna use this as a primer today. Moving on to foundations, I have them all laid out for her right here. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, uh, not the stick, just the regular liquid foundation, the NARS foundation, the Wet n Wild foundation, which I absolutely freaking hate, um, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick, and I have two of them just because I used two different colors, so I thought I would lay them out, and then I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy foundation. Let's see what she goes for. Go choose one. Go. Go. Pick a foundation. Hey, go pick one. There she goes. No. Uh oh, uh oh, no. So basically, she chose the Wet n Wild. This is the first one that she um, decided to go for. So, oh my god, I'm so mad. This is going to be the worst. This video already went down the drain by her choosing this foundation. <laughs> Moving on to the face now, you guys. Um, I gave mommy some pretty good primer options, but she went for the Urban Decay Rebound Setting Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over my, my I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face as a primer. Yeah, I don't know about this. Ooh. Got all over my eyes. Um, and no, don't get me wrong, I do love this spray, but I like it for other purposes. I don't really love it as a priming spray. Um, I use it more so kind of like a hydrating spray because it does kind of refresh your face. Like if, if my face feels too powdery or like if I have like a dry patch anywhere, I'll spray some of this on it and like it completely like, like refreshes my face. So, um, I had also given mommies the option of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I had forgotten that I had that. Um, I never really used it clearly, um, and then I also gave her the option of the, ooh, what is it burning in my eye? Um, the Pure Correcting Primer Hydrate and Balance, I've never used this, and then the Professional, the Matte Rescue, clearly I hate anything matte I usually hate, so I decided to throw that in just to give it a little twist, and then also the L'Oreal uh, Paris Magic Perfect perfecting base. I think I've only used this a couple times on clients, so I've never used this for myself, so I decided to throw that in. And then, of course, my Holy Girl Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, and then, next up for foundations, I gave on these a lot of really good options, and she sabotaged me. This video is... Mommy's just sabotaged my entire makeup look. She went for the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I know a lot of people love this foundation, but I hate it. I freaking hate this foundation with a passion, and Mommy's has just done me so dirty right now. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and blend it out, but I already know. This foundation, I only used it once because <sighs> it was just horrible. Let me move my mirror a little bit down. Yeah, I hated this foundation because it just is so freaking matte. It is so matte that it made my skin look disgusting. Like, it almost made me look scaly. And I feel like it was a little bit too white for me. I don't know. It looks like an okay color match, I guess. Oh, hell no. I already don't like it. I don't know. I know a lot of people rave about this foundation. I know what I know a lot of people who like this foundation. I just personally hate it. And this foundation does have flashback. I've tried it out and it definitely, in my opinion, does have flashback. So we're gonna be avoiding 
flashback or flash photos today because I know this foundation has flashback. I'll test it out again today, but that was another one of the biggest reasons why I hated this foundation so much. Clearly, mommy hates me though, so I guess it's all good. I'm gonna try to make it work. Yeah, I already hate this foundation so much. Oh my god. I don't know what it is. I just don't. <sighs> mommy has completely ruined me. Um, I thought this was a cool challenge to do though because I've seen it going around like I said and I felt like mommy's wouldn't be like, I don't know, I felt like she would choose just, you know, whatever she wants. She's obviously, you know, she's a dog. She doesn't know what makeup products are good and which ones are bad. And I did the subscribers pick my makeup challenge a while ago, probably like a month ago, and you guys really enjoyed that one as well. But you guys are always telling me to use different products and to switch it up. And when I did that challenge of you guys picking my makeup, you guys literally chose a lot of the same products I always use. Ugh, and I don't like the smell of this foundation. Yeah, I already look so freaking dry. Holy crap. Oh my god, this was such a bad idea. I'm like, I kind of want to add another layer, but I'm not going to because I already look so, like, I, I look like I'm about to, like, flake off. Like, my dry, it's, like, clinging to my dry, my dry patches, and it's disgusting. Also, I don't think I'm going to be using, like, the treats anymore because I feel like she's just going to whatever treat she wants. And, like, she's just eating the treat. She doesn't really, I don't know. It's not like she's going to know this time, but I want her to choose the actual product that she wants. And I know, I know when she chooses it because I know she's going to pick it up or try to eat it or something. So, let's see what she does. Well, she already has a concealer over here. We're going to make her choose again. Moving on, we're also going to have Mommy's pick my concealer. You know, we're going to have her pick everything. But for concealers, I'm giving her a lot of pretty good options. Oh my god, my face feels sticky with this foundation. I'm itching right now. Like, this foundation is itching my face. Okay. Um, I gave her a lot of really good options for, for her to choose from. But y'all know she likes to sabotage me. So, you never know what she's going to give me. Um, for concealers, I gave her the options of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This used to be one of my favorites back in the day. Um, the Morphe Concealer, which I hate. The um, Tarte Shape Tea, which I love, but I don't like it. I don't really like it on its own. I like mixing it with like another different concealer. Um, and then I gave her the option of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I love. And then the option of the uh, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. I don't remember what it was like. I don't remember ever trying it, but I guess I have it. And the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, these these are the options I'm giving her for concealer, and I'm also gonna have her choose my uh, cream contour and my powder right after that as well. So you guys will see all those clips together in a second. Just because after I do all my cream products, I want to go in straight with my powder, so I want to know what powder she's gonna have me use. Um, and then for cream contour, I'm giving her the option of the Sona Kashuk uh, cream bronzer. Oh my god, my face feels sticky, and the Hula. Um, little quickie contour stick which I don't really love the Anastasia contour stick and of course my LA girl pro conceal which I love but I don't think I'm gonna be snatching my nose today because I can't find my brush for my um, that I used to contour my nose so probably not gonna be really contouring my nose too much today which kind of sucks my makeup is just sabotaged today okay go pick one pick one pick one which one do you want huh which one do you want no, don't sit. Don't sit, mommy. Pick one. Pick one. Uh-oh, we might have to go back to the treats method. Look. Look, you want it? Okay, pick one. Pick one. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? She looks confused. But she'll get the... Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She's smelling. She's smelling. She's smelling. Okay. There we go. We have our winner. She chose the Maybelline Super Better Skin Concealer. This is what we're going to be using as concealer. And next she gets to pick contour. Pick one. Pick one.
Pick one. What do you want? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Pick one. She's picking out her cream contour. Oh, she's smelling a good one. Come on. She's sitting down. I think she is really confused. Okay, pick one. Which one do you want? Oh, there we go. Good girl. We have a winner and she chose my favorite. <laughs> Come pick one. Laura Mercier, Maybelline, Airspun, Arsit May, and Urban Decay. Come on. Come pick one. She's smelling a little bit. She's smelling over there. She can't decide. RCMA. Do you want to use Airspun? Do you want to use RCMA? Oh, she's going for Urban Decay. Urban Decay. Do we have a winner? Oh, back to RCMA, guys. She can't decide what she wants to bake with. I think it's going to be RCMA. Yep. There we go. She's still deciding. She can't decide. She keeps going for RCMA, though. So I think I'm going to just use RCMA. She keeps trying to lick this one. So... Good choice, mommy. All right, guys, we're making progress. Um, I do feel like my shadow needs to be blended out a little bit more, so I'm gonna blend it out, but I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more after I'm kind of done with everything. I'm gonna keep blending my foundation a little bit, but I feel like my skin already kind of soaked it up. I don't even want to talk about the foundation. I don't like it. For concealer, mommy's chose the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um... I just kind of don't like the undertone of this concealer. I feel like it might be a little bit too light and it's too pinky. But this is what mommy's wants me to use, so we're just gonna roll with it. I took away the treats. That way she would actually go for a product that she wants. But I think I'm gonna go back to the treats method because it kind of takes a little longer to get her to... Oh no. I don't really like the coverage, and it's super light, wow. I don't know about all this. Oh my god, and my smile lines are creasing so horrible. Can you guys see that? Holy shit. This, it's just like not a good makeup day, you know? Oh my god, this feels like I'm rubbing oil under my eyes. It feels so oily. Why does it feel like that? She actually wants the concealer. She's right here trying to reach it. She's so funny. I wish Dana would have been here to help me hold her. You want it? She actually wants the concealer. Come get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this concealer. Oh my god, there's no coverage. Zero. Zero. Uh-uh. We're having issues here. Oh my god, my skin looks disgusting. Disgusting. I don't know guys, I think mommy's really sabotaged me today. Oh my god, I swear she would have chosen Airspun. Cancelled. This video would be cancelled. This concealer has like zero coverage. What the hell, dude? Oh, and I got it all over my eyeshadow, so I really need to fix my eyeshadow now. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. Uh, for cream contour, I'm not going to go in too much just because I don't have my um, my brush for my nose to contour my nose, so I can't really go in too much, but I'm just going to rub some on the back of my hand and go in with a beauty blender and kind of add this to my face. She chose the LA Girl Pro Conceal for cream contour, my favorite, so at least she did me good on that one. She's done me so dirty for all the other products, so. Oh my god, she's trying to lick it off my hand. She really wants this one, doesn't she? Okay, I guess it's looking better now that I added some cream contour, but 
I just don't like the undertone of the concealer. I don't like the coverage. It's not good at all. And I hate the foundation, so... So far, this is how my life is going. Can I have a Yeah. Uh, you can have some of these too, okay? Okay. Do you eat already? No. Oh, eat them. I'll just stick them in the fryer and I'm good. And the food. My head hurts, right? They're salty, huh? Yeah, it's salty. Okay, and then for powder, Mommy's chose the RCMA, and I'm just gonna bake, maybe hopefully fix some of this mess because I'm looking disgusting right now. Mommy's completely sabotaged my look. My concealer has no coverage. Um, the foundation looks disgusting. If you guys could only see the way that it looks, the RCMA powder I actually do kind of like though. I just never, I don't, I don't reach for it as much, but I did like it when I had tried it. But dude, my smile lines are creasing like cray cray. And I just can't get over the no coverage on under my eyes, dude. I like my full coverage. I love full coverage. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a little bit. And then we're gonna have mommy's choose out my my bronzer and my highlighter and stuff and then we're pretty much good to go so for bronzer I'm giving mommy's the options of the um, Seattle London Palm Island bronzer the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer or the Hula bronzer the Hula bronzer I do like it it's not my favorite though um, so those are the options she has for that and then she's gonna have the options for blush she's gonna have the option for the California blush, which is my favorite, the Benefit Dandelion blush, the um, Benefit Gold Rush blush, or the Balm Little Blush Trio. And then also for highlighter, I'm having her choose like the stuff in like groups of like the order that I use them. Does that make sense? Lastly, for highlighter, I'm gonna have her choose between the Kylie highlighter, which is not my favorite, the Seattle London Moon Dust Glow, the Kat Von D. Gold Rush Glow, which I do like it, but I just feel like it's a little bit too gold. And the Anastasia Amrezy Glow, which is my... Mommy's blush options are all laid out for her. No problem, the mommy's. Bring her up, baby. Bring her up. Where did you get the one? Ah. <laughs> Bring her up. Come on, girl. Ready? Ready or not, Ready, here we come. Go, get the girl. Go, get the girl. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh! Which, oh! So she chose dandelion blush from Benefit. Okay, move, move, that's enough. See, it was meant to be baby love. That's not the one I hate. The one I hate is this one. Which one? Gold Rush. I, this one's okay, I don't love it though. Her highlighters are all out for her. She's ready to come pick one. Let her go. Okay, okay. <gasps> uh oh, oh, Seattle one. London. <laughs> she chose Seattle London, y'all. Yes. She's eating all the- Face makeup actually doesn't look horrible except up close. Like, dude, it's like hella clung on to my dry patches. My smile lines are more creased than ever. Um, but for bronzer, she actually did me a solid and she chose the Too Faced Chocolate Solid, which is one of my faves. I'm actually gonna apply this all over my face. And then... Then for blush, Mommy's ended up choosing the Benefit Dandelion blush. I've never actually used this, so I don't know. The color was never too appealing to me, but we're gonna go through it. Actually, kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Maybe I slept on this. Mommy's is right here. She wants all the products that she chose. She said, "Bitch, give them to me." I chose them. She's like, "Bitch, this is my video." 
She's like, I want the attention. This is my video. I picked the makeup, bitch. Put it on me. Okay, go, go. Go that way. Okay, and then for highlighter, she chose the Seattle London Moon Dust Highlighter. I do like this. Um, I haven't used it in a long time, though, so... And I didn't bring my highlight brush. I'm going to just use this brush. Let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, it's working pretty okay. Ooh, I do like this highlighter a lot. so pink though <laughs> for setting spray I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the spray that she used or that I used as primer that mommy's chose just cuz I'm feeling really dry right now moving on to lips mommy's is gonna have the options of this Milani Lippy, um, I decided to throw in one crazy color which I'm really praying god please don't let her choose this this look is gonna be done already done um or this anastasia liquid lippy uh jeffree star celebrity skin it used to be one of my favorites or this slime crime lippy as well we're gonna have her choose these out and then i'm gonna do my lashes um finish off my look come back and then i'll do the lips with you guys to finish off this entire we're ready to pick the lippies bring her on bring her out go get it mommy uh oh uh oh uh oh she's confused come on mommy Ready? Ready? One more try. Okay. Bring her out. There you go. No! I really wanted her to choose celebrity skin, man. I even put a bigger treat for that one. <laughs> so I went ahead and added my lashes, and now to finish off the entire look, I'm gonna go ahead and add my lippy. The lighting has gotten kind of like a little bit bad now. Um, it was pretty good when I started. That's why I decided to film right here. But I wanted to switch it up for you guys. Um, my last video I did it in this setup, and a lot of you guys liked it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm getting like I'm gonna switch up. I'm just still I'm still deciding what background color I want to use for my film room. So next video you guys see will probably in be in the actual film room. Um, mommy's for my lips. Mommy's chose out the Lime Crime Liquid Lippy in the shade Riot. I've actually never used this. So let's see how I like it. Oh, it's a pretty color. She's going crazy. She sees people outside the window. Oh, I actually really like the color and I think it actually goes really nice with the look. You know what, now that I look at the look, it doesn't look horrible. And I did take a picture with flash earlier, like I kind of tested it out a little bit. And it wasn't horrible, Um, I think if I were to bronze a little bit more, it maybe would pass the flash test. And maybe if I were to get like one shade darker in the foundation, it would pass it. My skin does like, I, I definitely do think you can see like a big difference when I use my other products that I really like and this foundation, the concealer and stuff. Like I don't have a lot of coverage under my eyes and like the foundation doesn't look amazing. Like up close you can definitely see it sticking to my dry patches but Overall, I'm actually liking it now that it's coming together and then the eyeshadow I blended it a little bit more out of my lashes and it looks really damn good actually. And this is the finished look you guys. I actually really like it now that it's put together and like I said, it's not horrible. It's not my best, but it's not horrible. I am going to be wearing this out because I'm going to be going to the movies and I think it does kind of pass a little bit. It, it's wearable. Mommy's come here. Let's call her. Let's call her. Since so she's the one that did this. Come here. Come here, sexy girl. Come here, little girl. Okay, so, mommies did a really good job today. Good job, let's get her a treat. You get a treat, mommy. She gets a treat because she did really good today. You go, here you go, girl. Eat it up. She did really, really good today. I'm proud of her. She chose everything and she was really amazing. Um, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna see if there's any other videos me and mommies can do together. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, but I really did enjoy it filming this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. Mommies said to make sure you guys turn on your notifications and subscribe if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.